Exactly. Fair, in a way, and according to what you're telling me. In fact, it proved it's anything to do with Christianity. Okay. It wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Tom, Tom. Yeah, okay. If I predict, so Tom, basically, Tom, if I predict that you win the lottery next week on Friday and you win it, but, 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 but then I predict the week after you're going to win the lottery, you win it again on Friday. Finish, let me finish. And I keep predicting every week for 300 weeks that you're going to win and you win every 300. There are 300 predictions in the Gospels in the Old Testament about Jesus' life. That he would be betrayed by 30 pieces of silver, that he would die on a cross, that he had soldiers would cast lots for his garments. There's 300 prophecies. So if that gets, if that is correct, 300 times, don't you think you might well just think there's something fishy going on here? Okay. Guys, guys, can you just move up there a bit if you're talking, yeah? So, so Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said this. I'm going to read from John and preach on what I was going to preach on. God bless you, Tom. John chapter 4, it says this, it says, Jesus said, answered and said unto her, Whosoever drink of this water shall thirst again, but whosoever drink of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him be in him a well of water springing up into eternal life. And that's what we're here today. The Lord is coming back. We're in the last days. We're seeing earthquakes. We're seeing earthquakes in Mexico. We're seeing, we're seeing floods all over the world. And, and Jesus warned in Matthew 24, he warned in the last days, there will be these things happening. And there is a last day. And it's now when you need to be ready now for the last day. Because when Jesus comes, he's not coming as a savior. He's coming with a sword to wreak vengeance and wrath and judgment upon his enemies. So now is the day of salvation. Now is the day to come and believe in him. Now is the day. And Jesus does not offer you religion. He said to the Samaritan woman, come and drink. And my friends, there is eternal life for you today. Real joy and peace and hope. <coughs> we met a girl today and she's going to a rave and having a rave party and it, she'll be excited but there is more joy and peace in Jesus Christ he's come to give you joy and peace and love Surah 634 sir have you read Surah 634 and don't be smoking that wacky backy sir that'll do you no good Jesus Christ has come to give you life. He's come to give you hope. He's come to give you joy. He's come to give you peace, my friend. New life, new peace, new joy, new and living life, not religion. These people here are arguing and arguing and arguing, but it's death, it's not life. Jesus has come to give you life. He's come to give you joy. Hey, sir, 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 can, you, can I ask a question, sir? The Quran, sir, how was it revealed? He's one of their best debaters, he won't debate. He's chickening out, he's running away, one of their best debaters. He can't debate. There we are. I was going to ask him, where are the bones? When the Quran was revealed, so-called, it was written on bones. I was going to ask him where the bones are, with the chicken bones or camel bones. 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 Yeah, it's true, isn't it? That's what, that's what they believe, isn't it? So where are the bones? Where are the original bones? Yeah, that's what. And it, they're all denying it today. They're denying that it was on bones. But it's true, isn't it, sir? That they say it was revealed on bones, written on bones. Bones and deer Bones and deer skins and sticks, isn't it? And they're all denying that. They're all denying it today. They don't want to talk about it. But I'm, I'm trying to get the Muslims to talk about it. They won't talk about it. They won't talk about it. Yeah. I'm not really on your side. So, so do you believe in, in, in there's no God? There's no God. There's no, there's no God that watches over it. Okay, okay. There's no God that watches over it. Whether, so whether he knew, there is, I mean, he didn't what we know about the universe is this. The universe is so big that it takes like 13.7 billion years to travel across. Yeah, okay? yeah. There are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand. We are less than so a speck of dust. And on that speck of dust, you are less than a micro. Okay? So, 
on this pack of dust and you wear a microphone we just said, all right? Why would anybody be bothered about what I eat and drink, who I have sex with, and in what position? I hear what you said. Is this your daughter or friend? If I choose to do something, yeah. Now, listen to what you said. And I know you're intellectually honest. Just think about this. You said billions of stars and we're just a billion. Yeah. A bit less than a speck of dust. Okay, right? Now think about what you just said. You don't live on that level. Hear what I say now. Your daughter, you do not treat her like a speck of dust. No, you treat her special because she's special to you. But wait, yeah, but, 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 but wait, no, wait, 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 look at this, be intellectually honest, because I know you are, I know you are, right, listen. I'm just telling you, I'm not greater than her, you're, you're trying to make out that I'm... Do you want, do you want to come closer? Say, go, just come closer a minute, all right. Hear what I'm saying, bro, hear what I'm saying, hear, hear, right, this is what I'm saying, yeah. If yours is the truth, it will be consistent. If mine's the truth, it'll be consistent. If there's an inconsistency in my position, let me finish, then I've got to question that. If there's an inconsistency in your position, you've got to question it. And all I'm saying is, there's an inconsistency. Here's the inconsistency. On the one hand, the atheist says, Richard Dawkins says, that we're just, the universe is but blind indifference. It's more or less what you're saying, we're just bits of dust on the edge of the universe, right? But every day, you do not treat your daughter like that. You treat your daughter with love. So there's a contradiction. Either she's dust, listen a minute. Either she's dust, let, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Either she's dust, if she's dust, treat her like dust, that's dust, I'll just kick it, mess about with it, doesn't mean anything. But, but wait a minute, but she's not dust. Wait a minute, wait a minute, she's not dust. She's, you don't treat her, you, so you, wait a minute, wait a minute. And there's a God that cares and watches over me and watches why I eat and drink and do I have sex with. Okay? I've just told you how big the universe is. There are at least 100 billion stars in our galaxy. There are at least 400 billion galaxies out there. That's 100 billion times 400 billion, yeah? To think there's something watching over me, listening and talking to you right now, is ridiculous, mate. But you're saying... You're now related to something completely different. No, 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 you've got to... Yeah, but she's just dust in your world view. We're both the same. No, so when you when you wake up, let me finish. Let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. When you wake up in the morning, you don't go, "Hi, you dust." How you doing, dust? You don't treat her like dust. You don't say, "Oh, slap her in the face and say you're just a bit of dust." You treat her with love. Wait, let, no, let me finish. Let me finish because I let you talk. Right? Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. I like your smile, I like your top, I like your style, yeah? But listen, no, listen, listen. Listen to me, bro. Listen. Be, in, be honest with me. Right? We're just dust on the edge of the universe. But you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 let me finish. No, no, no. Let me finish. One more thing. Can I talk to you then? We just stayed in a hotel room, okay? And basically, there's a Bible in the hotel room. And I read the first paragraph of Genesis. And in the first paragraph, there is a scientific mistake. And it goes on about how the heaven and earth was created straight away. In the first paragraph. And then it says, and then there was light. Light was well in ahead of when, before the earth was even invented. We are four and a half billion years old, the earth. Okay? That means it was about nine billion years of, of life before we were even here. No, 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 no. So in the first paragraph, there's a scientific mistake. What's the point in reading the whole rest? Let me come in. At the beginning of the universe, were you there? Right. Nobody was there, right? So what you're saying is conjecture. You don't know. You cannot... No, wait a minute. No, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me let, listen. If, you, if your position is strong, you'll be quiet and listen. If it's weak, you'll keep butting in. Listen, I'm going to go anyway. Listen, hold on. I enjoy it anyway. But you treat your dog with love. Hey, listen. You treat her with love. You don't have to tell me that. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. But be consistent. If she's just dust, she's not dust. She's more than dust. That's the inconsistency. And on the and one last thing. One last thing. One last thing. Can I just say this? My my belief is. What is more intelligent to believe? The universe came by non-mind or mind? I believe it's more logical to believe the universe popped into existence by mind because of the complexity, for example, it, let me finish, in your DNA, you have three billion bits of information in your DNA. Where there's information, there's a mind. 
Who put that information in your DNA? Was it aliens or was it God? I go for God. Okay. All right, okay. Something, something okay. as complex as, as us obviously needs a creator. That's what you're saying, basically. Yeah. Who made God? Because obviously God's more complex than us. So, and then who created that God? Let me explain. Let me explain. Oh, made God is, made is physical. Made is physical. When you say made, that is physical. God is spirit. He's eternal by definition. It's still something, isn't no, it? when you it's say still something. The, the definition of God by definition is it eternal. So it's a category of mistake. But anyhow, God, sir, it's on his human being. God, God the Father. Father. Right. You can see, you can see me on YouTube. Right, listen. It's Captain Jason. All right, God bless you. See you next. Can you say something? Yes. I'm Michele. Michele, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, but, I mean, if God created us, all living things, and you say our DNA, there is like three billion bits of information. Well, as a biologist, I can tell you that a lot of that information doesn't need to be there. It's useless. Some of that information is like all the viruses who just got stuck in our DNA, like millions, hundreds of millions of years ago, and just stayed there because they were good at staying there and being replicated. Okay. This, this is an argument that a lot of evolutionists have used over the years. They've said that the bone at the back, that's not needed, that's part of, the, part of evolution. We found out that that is needed at the back, that, that bone there. They've said that the appendix not needed, this was many years ago, that that was an evolutionary thing, it's not needed, but we found out that that's needed. So we might, you might say that now, but you don't know in about 10 years time that junk DNA, and I think actually we've, we're finding out that even junk DNA has some uses, so what you're saying is completely true. In the future, we'll find that some of this so-called material that you're saying is not, not, not working in our DNA, we're, we're actually needing it. The point is, let's, let's work from what we do know. What we do know is if I throw matches on the floor, what chances of those matches building a house on their own? Whenever you, throw, whenever you have an explosion, if I, if I threw matches there and then threw an explosion in it, those matches are not going to build a house. You're saying that there was a big bang, that there was an inflation of, of the universe. Where the material come, we don't know, but it just come from nothing. This material came from nothing, and then it magically put itself together in this beautiful universe. You might as well just believe in God, bro. You know what I mean? Just chill out and believe in God. Let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Yeah, but then you would have a God that just popped the universe into existence and then did nothing for like the billions of years the, uni the universe has gone on. Like, because like, apart from like the creation, if you assume that God made the universe, we see nothing proving that God has done anything apart from creation. Let me finish, right here. Let me finish. Okay. it's a good point, you're saying that God popped the universe into existence, but and if then, he did, let me finish, and then you're saying, but then he did nothing. Listen my friend, right now you're breathing air. If there is no God, when you wake up in the morning, right, you expect the sun to come up. Yeah. Why? It's not just because of the laws of nature. How do you know those laws of nature are going to keep working in 10 years time? You don't know. But wait, 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 let me finish. Let, no, let me finish. The reason why you know. Listen, let me finish. The reason why you know the sun's going to come up in the morning is because you know deep down, even though you don't accept it, that there's a God behind those laws keeping everything going. Because you don't walk around like this thinking, oh, at any moment now everything's going to pack in. No. You believe there's a consistency within nature and it's because there's a God behind it keeping nature going. Right? Now, here's a question for you, bro. Jesus said this, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I'm the light of the world. Right? He said, I'm the bread of life. I believe that Jesus Christ has come to set you free, to give you liberty and joy and peace. And the question that I ask for you, sir, is why don't you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Why? Why should I? Why? I tell you why. Uh, it's simple answer because he never says that. I tell you why. There's no Bible why. where he says I'm your Lord and I'm, I am your Savior. Did, Can you pull the verse I, I, where Jesus said I'm your Lord and your Savior? We'll answer that in a second, sir. Do you believe the Quran is the Word of God? Answer. See, see the Muslims there. Of course I do. Yes, yes. I don't want you to move how? from what I'm asking you from the Bible to the Quran. How is the, well, it doesn't make sense. How is the Quran revealed? No, no. This is this is, this is, this is empty discussion. You are, you are not, there is I'm no asking, way to prove or disprove No, no. I'm asking sign. you about the Bible. No way to prove you are answering about the Quran. Are you sure? Absolutely. Yeah. Prove it. 
That's what I'm saying. Prove yeah. it. Prove what? Your, your position. You can't prove your position. Well, I'm telling you. Okay. I'm asking question. you about the Bible. Yeah. Let you me are, get back to this guy. Let me get back to I can't do okay, it. Let, let me talk to him There's and I'll no come back to you. Let me come back to you, sir. There's no way. Jesus said this, right? He said, I give my life a ransom for many. I am the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, he died. And I claim he rose again. And he commands you right now to repent for the things that you've done wrong and believe in him who died for you. Now, why won't you do that? Well, I mean, Jesus was a really nice guy and he probably said a lot of nice things. But that's just it. What's your I mean, evidence for that? Well, you got it in the Bible. People wrote what you should do. Well, what did you say? You well, make it a claim, show me. No, what did you well, say? Can I you mean, repeat your claim? Jesus was a nice guy. And he said a lot of nice things because that in fact Jesus said you should be nice to thy neighbor and all of that I, stuff. Don't and you agree with anything? Are you saying that sounds really that? good? Do you believe he existed then? I believe it existed you, and I believe he was a man, not in more. Do you believe he died on the cross? I believe he died on the cross. I don't believe anything else. Okay. So you believe that he was a good man, you believe he died on the cross? No. If he's a good man, he said, I give my, I'm I'm gonna be in the sign of Jonah. I'm gonna Go said, into the belly of death for three days and nights. But he never been there three finish, days, three nights. Let me finish. <laughs> so if you claim that Jesus is a good man, if you claim, if you claim that Jesus is a good man, as a good man, he said that he was going to die and rise again. Is he still a good man? But he doesn't believe he's God. He just no, he doesn't have to believe he's God. He's, oh, you said he was a good man. Good man. Yeah. Well, you yeah. can't be good. He's good I man. I am often wrong. Yeah. We are no, good no, men. No, no, no. Your Jesus could be wrong. Right. Okay. Jesus didn't yeah. rise again. Right. It is impossible to rise good. again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so why? Why? Let me finish. Let me finish. So why is it impossible? For people miracles are to happen. About Jesus, they are yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's why, possible. Why is it possible? Because, the same why, let me because a man cannot come after death. Same let me finish. You cannot die. Why, why, why is it impossible for, for, they for miracles to happen? Why? Why is that? What? Why? You said you yeah. said it's impossible for him to rise again. So I'm asking you, why is it impossible for miracles to happen? Over to you, bro. Because he died on the cross. There is no way a man can rise again after his death because he starts decaying. His organs don't work anymore. His brain, his brain is gone. Let me ask you this. Can you say with 100% that there is no God? Yeah. That's what I think. You, you can say 100% there is no God. So do you know everything in the universe? No. So you can't say you know. You cannot say 100% there is no God because you don't know everything in the universe. No, I don't right. know anything. So, it, 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 even, even if there was just a slight possibility, you cannot say it was totally impossible because, uh, you, do you know physics at the quantum level? You've got the quarks. What are after the quarks in physics? Well, after, in physics, you have quarks, right? And then after the quarks, there's something else. Now, here's the point, right? That years ago, we used to believe in certainty in science. But well, because of quantum physics, because things pop into existence from goodness knows where we, we particles come from nowhere where we don't know. Listen, let me, no, I'm not finished. Let me finish. Science moved from uh, certainty to probability because they felt that there was no certain scientific fact because something could come in at the quantum level and to puncture what we know. What that means is that you don't know at the quantum level whether something can break in, i.e. a miracle. So, you've always, as an atheist, have got to be open to the evidence. And it's no good ruling it out on principle. I'll give you an example. The atheist, David Yu, went and investigated miracles that happened 100 years before him. He was in the 17th century. And he, and he had five criteria to see if these miracles were true. Were the people intelligent? Were they honest? Were they nice? Were, were they credible, right? He investigated it and he said, on my criteria, these miracles happen. Listen, yeah, but the quantum, quantum level. If your position is strong, listen. If it's not strong, you're but you're but in. If it's strong, you'll listen and then rebut me. Why, why is doing the science? If you're strong, and he doesn't agree let me about math. Math. Mathematics, he doesn't let me, even agree. Let me finish. One equal to three. How come we? How come we one equal to three? You can come in, in a minute. Mathematically, you can come in. you're I'll wrong. I'll answer that already. in a second. I'll answer that in a three second. Three equal to one. Mathematically, right. you're wrong. How one you times one science? times one. What's that? Three. One times one times one is what? Three. Okay. 
What do you mean one okay. time, one time? Man. What is one times, one times, one, bro? One plus one. one. Why you don't? Why it's one. Say one plus Three one, is right? one. Why yeah? don't you use plus? Okay. You still haven't. Answered. Because we're doing different mathematics from you, bro. All right. You still haven't. And so no, right? let, let me come back to you. Let me come back to him. Let me come back to this guy. Let me come back. Quantum uncertainty is about being a small thing. Why is it only three? No, let me come back. A man, a human body is like you. Quantums do not explain how a body can come back to life. We'll explain it. We'll explain it. But let me let me come back. I've given you a one-on-one with David Hume. Now, David Hume was a great philosopher who's an atheist. He investigated miracles. He said, let me finish, let me finish. It's a bit rude, but it, right? I'm explaining philosophy and the philosophy of science and how that relates to miracles, yeah? You don't know about science. Just chill. Take a chill pill. Don't attack me as a person. No, I'm not. Deal with the argument. Deal with the argument, all right? Fact. Mathematically, doesn't make sense. One times one times one is what? Time once as well, time once, time time million once, it came, came one. one. Miracles. Three, Let me come back to you. Three. Let me come back to you. Yeah? <laughs> David Hume investigated the miracles and he said, by what I've investigated, the miracles happened. Now here's the point. Even though the evidence was strong that miracles happened, he said this, miracles can't happen because miracles don't happen. Right? And that's what you're doing as an atheist. It's impossible for Jesus to rise from the dead because miracles don't happen. But the point is, you can't say that, you can't rule that out because you don't know at the quantum level where the miracles are going to break in. What you've got to do, bro, is you... Hey, bro. Hello, what you've got to do is deal with the evidence, the historical data. Now, I'll give you some historical data to show that Jesus rose from the dead. Women's testimony was not valid in the time of Jesus. It was only that of half a man. It, the testimony of a woman was equal to two men. You do not build a religion on women's testimony in the ancient Jewish world. The first people to, de the first people to declare that Jesus rose from the dead were women. Now you cannot explain that from a naturalistic point of view. Because if you look at the times, women's value would not... Excuse me. Women's, women's testimony was not valued. Yeah? Now, let me ask you a question. Thanks, sir. John the Baptist said this, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. He died on that cross. I believe he died on that cross for you. He says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus says, I've come to give you life more abundant. He says this, he says this, he says, I am the light of the world. My yeah, friend, no, let me finish, let me finish. He wants you to have life, bro. Joy and peace and life in you. And you can have that today if you believe him as your Lord and Savior. Really nice, and thank you very much, but still don't believe it. I still don't believe he rise. And another thing which is more or less even more crazy is that people believe that he was born from a virgin. Yes. Yeah. That's even. Well, that's not more impossible, but that's how, impossible. How reliable, it, in that virgin birth account, and who, who wrote the virgin birth account? I did. Okay. I did. It was Luke. Have you any idea? Have you any idea how accurate a historian what Luke was? No, it's not accurate. Look, he says we copy. He's just from a copy. Look, a guy who wrote something yeah. two thousand years ago. I mean, do you know the nature of the document that you're arguing against, the Gospel of Luke? Do you know the nature of yeah. that Gospel? It's a copy. Man, that's, it's a copy. that's a book. It's a copy. We can argue against what, books. What, it's just a book. What kind of a book was it? Who's Who's Luke? Who's Luke? Ask what him who's Luke first. Well, Give me a second name of Luke. What kind Give him a second name of Luke. What kind of yeah. writer who's Luke? was he? Which is Mark? Which was Mark? It father? doesn't matter. He was a human being. Exactly. He wrote a book. So, so what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? You're showing that you, you need to be a bit more open, right? <coughs> no, no, Luke my, my wrote question. a historical biography, and in chapter one, chapter one, it's not eyewitness. first it's one, not eyewitness. two, three. Luke is not first, eyewitness. But why don't you don't tell people He's fooling you and he's lying. He just was a man liar. He's lying. Is Luke? When the Muslims aren't doing well, they always attack you. They always say, they always say, liar, liar, liar. You in Luke, Luke chapter Luke one, is, in Luke chapter one, yeah. the first three verses, he I, says, I, "I using eyewitnesses." What's wrong with the eyewitness? Well, He's well, using eyewitnesses. Not so him. Jesus, him is wait, 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 wait. Are you claiming he had first-hand evidence Mary was a virgin? 
He was there. He, he claims it in the. I'll read no, it. No, look, look, was there. Was <laughs> because there. that's quite a strong claim. He well, taking a really eyewitnesses. Well. eyewitnesses. Not himself is an eyewitness. I'm, I'm going to read it to you. Are you ready for this? Wasn't Did there. you know that modern scholarship is moving to this view, which I'm going to explain to you? Why are you lying to people? Why? Luke chapter one. For as much as many have taken in hand to enforce in order declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us, even as they receive them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitness and ministers of the word, it seemed good to me, having had perfect understanding of all these things from the very first, to write them to you. Subjective. Subjective. To look. I'm not going to shout over you, sir. I'm saying it's bro. Take a chill, you Bill. lie to him. You says he's what? He Take was a eyewitness. Chill, you says Take look, he was Bill. eyewitness. Take but you why are you trying to dominate person? the conversation, bro? You said because you lie to him. Is this Islam yeah, being no, no, dominant? No, no. Don't attack Islam. Talk, I'm not talk attacking Islam. Talk I'm talking equal. Equal. about you. Don't be you, aggressive. As a person. Take as a chill, person. Bill. You liar. Take a chill. Why you lie to him? He says yes. Give me a hug. No, no, I'm not gonna give you a hug. No, I don't. Show me some love. I do not. Well, don't call me a liar, bro. You are a liar. Okay. Give me a hug, come on. No. Come on. I don't do don't call me. Don't do That's not nice. <laughs> give me a hug, bro. Okay, man. What's wrong with you? Come on, give me a hug. You liar. You liar. You liar. Come did you on, bro. Did you say, look, was I witness? Do you want a coffee? No, thank you. I'll buy you a coffee. Ask, ask the question. Ask the question. Did you say, did you say, look, don't call me a liar. Did you say, look, was an eyewitness? <laughs> He's not lying. Ryan on pretty well. He's a good guy. Did, 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 did I said it was look? based on eyewitnesses. I said, oh, look. Look, based on, it's based on eyewitnesses. eyewitnesses. Now, here's, here's the point. Here's the point. What was it? Modern scholarship, modern scholarship is moving towards this view that the Gospels no. have eyewitness material. Stay with in it. look. Stay okay. with look. Who wrote about the virgin Listen, birth? Richard Balcom. Richard Balcom wrote a book. Wait a minute. 2007, Richard Balcom wrote a book called Jesus and the Eyewitnesses. It's rocked the academic world, bro. You need to read it. Now give me a hug, bro. I don't. Come on, man. I don't need to give you a hug. Jesus loves you, yeah? Don't use that. Well, Jesus died for you, yeah? He didn't die for now. You're, now you're looking better. Open, you're looking cool now. Bible He's looking nice now. In front now. of everyone. He's Open got a nice Bible. style about him Open now. Open the Bible and see like Ezekiel. Okay. Open the Just Bible. Just chill out. Chill out, bro. I'm, I'm chilling chill out. out. Don't Can I ask you a question? Where the bones? Where the bones? Can, can, can you open the Bible? Wait, wait, wait. That's not the point. The bones of the Quran. We are going, we are going out of school. The point, point is, no matter how yeah. many eyewitnesses so you have, bird, bird, bird. to get a human being, you need an egg and a sperm and fertilization. And if she was a virgin, there's no yeah, way this man. could have happened. That's true. That's because no question. God, that is true. And there is a God, it's very possible. And, and you don't know there is? No, but, well, sir, <laughs> sir, you don't know the question. God bless you. The question is... I've answered the question. The question. Yeah, no, no, the question uh, is... The question no, is... No, no, sir, sir, he knows, he knows. In Judaism, if, if the woman fornicates... Hi, Robert! Hi, Mom. I'm trying to preach you. Mary, Mary, she wasn't married. She wasn't married. Yes. She's giving all the to the moment. All right, all right. Wasn't all right? Yeah, yeah.